Jordan Travis, the quarterback for Florida State, had to leave the game late in the first quarter of the number 4 Seminoles 58-13 victory over North Alabama due to a leg injury. Travis gained a first down on a run, but he fell awkwardly close to midfield, seemingly hurting his left ankle as a North Alabama defender hauled him to the ground. Although Travis's injury required medical attention from trainers, it was so severe that he had to be carted off the field. An official diagnosis has not yet been given. Almost all of the Seminoles' teammates came onto the field to support their leader, even though FSU's star signal caller had to have his left leg put into an aircast. Tate Roadmaker Jr. took Travis's place at quarterback. When Travis left the game, the Seminoles were behind 13-0. Before getting hurt, Travis was 2 of 4 passing for 21 yards and gained 16 yards on the ground. Then, on his first drive after coming in as a replacement, Roadmaker went 2 of 3 passing for 22 yards, setting up an FSU field goal to cut the deficit to 10. Travis had completed 64.1% of his passes for 2,734 yards and 20 touchdowns this season with just two interceptions as of Saturday. This season, he has also scored seven touchdowns via rushing. As the Seminoles approach a crucial part of the season, it would be a major blow to FSU if he missed any significant time. Having finished at number four in the first three college football playoff rankings, FSU is looking to get closer to its first college football playoff berth since 2014. The team is undefeated and has already secured a spot in the ACC championship game. Before playing Louisville in the conference title game on December 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina, the Seminoles still have one game left in the regular season, which they will play at rival Florida.